part two. Paper Chase, um, I wrote like back in, start, I think start, started writing it in 2016. And uh, it was like, I think, confluence of different things that came into this song. So like there's the, the first verse. And they shyly dish, a stare, it seems it's going that way. My neighbor keeps asking me for places to stay. That was like about, like, saw this, like, kept on seeing these, like, new build housing estates, which were, like, kind of, like, not even that great houses. They're sort of cheaply made, um, and they were going for, like, 300 grand each on a housing estate. And it's like, what? You know, I'm not going against all housing estates, for example, but, like, um, that is just just purely to, to make money. It's not, they don't care about the people or whatever. It's just, you know, just for profit. The office buildings line. So it's like about like, literally about these office buildings that are built in the center of Aberdeen. Like people in the community all like petition to sort of stop them from being built because we didn't want, we didn't need office buildings. We've got so many more in the city. We're also pretty ugly and also aren't occupied. <laughs> but yeah, people wanted like a community space that we could use, perhaps a place to skate, perhaps a place to just sit and have a picnic have some food outside whenever possible, you know, that sort of thing. But profit was chosen over that, which is kind of part of the issue. We may use all these materials up and, and everything. So yeah, like the next, the next verse. And the nation is a hopeless case. Which seems it's going that way as a link. And the president was a waste of space. What's gonna happen to the first line of the second verse is like uh, that nation is um, a hopeless case because it just seemed like America was just going downhill you sort of you just absolutely this is a person that uh, does not care about people at all they might say they care about people but all the, the people that, like Donald Trump care about is lining their pockets they're completely nearsighted they don't see into the future they don't care about humans futures that, 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 that's why like the next line was like that president is a, is a waste of space because <laughs> he totally is a fucking waste of space and then like in the background um my friend connor sent me like a, a voicemail saying madman and that's i thought it was perfect to have that in the background of the song <laughs> and in the chorus this girl, she said to me She said to me, which is actually an actual person, it's the girl on the front cover, um, said to me, I don't care about money. Which I thought when I heard that, like the way she said it at the time, was like, I don't care about money. A couple of things, you know, so it was like, I was like, oh yeah. Well, so at the time it was like, you know, stop worrying about money, let's just have a nice time in life. Money doesn't mean anything after you're dead, doesn't mean anything without humans giving it value. So like some people um, work just to live and breathe, which is completely true. Some people just work just so they can have a place that's comfortable to live on this planet. And then some people think they need to make money to be happy. That's kind of that's kind of the energy of this song. Is kind of like be comfortable and happy, um, and you don't. So you don't think the amount of money making coincides with like your general happiness. Um, so yeah, in the third verse. And that man's shirt costs more than my rent. that man's shirt cost more than my rent because you know that was when I was in London for a few weeks in 2015 I had this line written down because I, I remember going into a shop and and seeing a shirt and it was literally more than my rent more than a month's rent this one of these shirts I don't remember the shop but I just made me think like what, what why what's the need if we are attributing so much value to money then why are we what why is why is why are frivolous things so expensive to try you know why can't you know if we have all this have this this resource why can't we use use it to 
help people out and sort of, you know, make the planet a comfortable place to live in and not kill the planet rather than, you know, make a shirt, which we've then attributed value of four, you know, 400 pounds or something for a shirt. It's kind of obscene. But yeah, and then, and then like, uh, there's a whole lot more that's been overspent with, like, you know, even like recently, you can see with the Tory party, they, they, they fucking spent like 250 million pounds on a yacht and <laughs> a fucking yacht that no other cunt's gonna get to use except for like a few royal family members and then what was it like to, to cure homelessness it would only cost like 82 million that's not possible that's helping people isn't it that's not fucking doesn't make any sense <laughs> sorry i was worrying so much but like and then so the next line like in, in the in the bridge uh, so the malice is a For, and unfortunately for some people the only thing that matters is the profit they don't really care about their staff members or, or comfortable how comfortable people are in general they just care about getting more of that dollar at the you know in the expense of, of um, so many things it's not just just not just uber you know there's mcdonald's or tesco with their meat and the, some of the meat industry in general just give it to them now let them have it and then like you know just give it to them why can't we just ignore these people trying to like make profit for bollocks if we just leave them and then they'll eventually they'll stop or they'll try and start making profit in a good way can you make a meal that's worth the ordeal you say you live your life for yourself but could never live life by yourself it's like talking about these people like like boris johnson or like fucking you know donald trump or who's that cunt that got fired from tory party i don't care <laughs> so much money and so much like power like they couldn't fucking cook a meal for themselves they couldn't you know reason why they're not happy without loads and loads of money is because they think they, they've fucking being raised badly and they think they need loads of money to like live a good life they couldn't even cook a decent meal for themselves if i'm gonna tell you make a decent meal for yourself it's like really really delicious then you know that's like one of the best things in life can you dig a grave for yourself is more just like i guess that's kind of leaning on the side of like <laughs> the french revolution-esque uh, i'm not quite as fascist as that turned but um not in the slightest but like the idea was if you can't even like you know do some gardening or like you know <laughs> Do like what basic work, see the value in that and feel how like feel life and you know outside of just like all these weird power plays and throwing money around and not giving up and just like it's a, an odd sort of euphemistic sort of culture we live in that's not you know it's not some some it's some aspects of it are just like lies and it's not real and um and that thing that's what I was going at with that it's just like if everyone was just a bit more honest and and, and real and physically did things themselves or, you know rather than just relying on convenience and things like that and relying on having to manipulate people manipulate people and, and control people then like you know I think some aspects of life could be happier hope that makes sense I've rambled for a long time now so um i hope i had some meaningful things in there that and i hope you kind of understand what my song these two songs are about um i'll continue and and have some shorter videos later on in the week thank you hope you enjoyed